This two-part lesson is on creating an annotated bibliography. The annotated bibliography consists of a complete citation of the resource used in your research, followed by a paragraph-length annotation of about 100 to 150 words. The annotation contains a brief summary, an assessment, and a reflection. Doing an annotated bibliography serves several purposes. The writing of the annotation helps you to read for understanding and to engage in critical thinking. Also, the annotated bibliography becomes a useful resource about a topic, especially if an entire class combines its work into one large annotated bibliography. This part of the annotated bibliography lesson covers producing the summary. Books, chapters from books, and articles are some of the most common items used in research, so researchers frequently annotate those kind of texts. For the purposes of this lesson, an annotation of a scholarly article will be used as an example of annotation. The summary makes up half of the paragraph, or about 50 to 75 words. This means you will have to make careful choices about what to include in the summary and write clearly and concisely. There are different kinds of scholarly articles. For instance, your article may be an essay consisting of a thesis or claim that is supported with evidence. Summarizing this kind of article requires answering questions such as, what is the main claim or thesis? What evidence is presented to support the argument or thesis? Just listing the contents of the article is not the same thing as identifying the thesis and evidence. Other kinds of scholarly articles may report on research. The summary should identify the purpose of the research, including what is the hypothesis or research question being tested? What methods are used to test the hypothesis? What are the most important results or findings of the study? Do the authors suggest directions for future research? And are there any limitations to the research or in how the research was conducted? Your answers to these questions form the basis for your summary section. Knowing the basic structure of a scholarly article will help you find the answers to these questions. Research-based articles are organized into different sections. These sections often include introduction, literature review, method, results, discussion, and conclusion. Look in the introduction or perhaps the literature review to find what the research study is about. Hypotheses are presented in the methods section, along with descriptions of how the hypotheses are being tested. The results section provides the results of the study. The discussion section is where the results are explained and interpreted, along with possible limitations of the study and directions for future research. You might also find directions for future research presented in the conclusion of the article. The summary should provide your readers with a brief sense of what the article is about and help them decide if the article might be useful for their research needs. This ends part one of the annotated bibliography lesson. Part two of this lesson will cover the assessment and reflection parts of the annotation.